So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the internal 16 gig SD card that comes with the Abernick RG350M, the new metal one. The RG350M comes with two SD cards, a quality controlled stickered internal SD card which it boots from, as you can see on the picture, and an external card, the 32 gig one, if you bought it. We've got to show you how to upgrade the internal one. First of all, we're going to back up your 16 gig SD card. So peel that sticker off, put the card in your computer, load up Win32 Disk Imager. As you can see here, I've got it open, I've got the card in, the card on my device is D drive. Um, click on the little folder icon, navigate to where you want to put the file, so it's going to take a copy of the SD card and store it somewhere here. We're going to put it on desktop. We'll call it something suitable. So today I'm going to call it a 16 gig SD card. And then we press open. So that's the name of the card. We type re press read. And what it will do is read in the image onto your computer. Now I've exploded it up here, it will take a little bit longer than this depending on how fast your computer is and what speed card you're actually backing up. So there we go, let's read it all in. You can see the files appeared on my desktop. And once it's complete, it says read successful. Click OK. Now we want to restore that back to your new 32 gig card. So insert your 32 gig card that you're going to use. So that should appear on your system. And then navigate to where we stored the backup we just took. Now if you can't see it, it's that star dot star there because sometimes you don't type the end of the file name. And then check you selected the right drive and press right. This will restore back the 16 gig card to your 32 gig, gig card. It asks for you to check, press yes. And now this will copy it back. And of course I've sped it up again. It will take a little bit longer depending on what card you bought and how fast it is. You should see the bar go all the way up. Um, that's the card created. So now your 32 gig card has a copy of your 16 gig card on it. Next, we need to go over to the web and grab a copy of Disk Genius. Download that, install it, and start it up. It should look something like this. Not exactly the same, because you've got different drives to what I've got. But you can see at the top, there's all my local drives. And then at the bottom, there's on the left-hand side, there's my SD card, the one we've just created. So it's 32 gig card. It's got a number of partitions, but as you can see, the ext4 partition doesn't fill all of the space, so there's a load of free space. So what we're going to do is back up that ext4 partition, delete the partition, create a new one that fills the space, and then restore it. So you select where you want to put the image uh, and all the files, the back of the files. It will create a .pmf file, so I'm going to select desktop again. I've got to name the file backup part 16 gig if I can type it correctly press open and then that will go and copy all the files once you press start into that file on your desktop there you go sped up press complete so now it's taking a copy of the, all those files so now to use all the space you can see we've got 16 gig free. Click on the primary X4 partition and delete it. There we go, delete, press yes. Now we've got all this free space. So now we create a new partition on there. Make sure it's a primary partition. Select um, ext4 Linux. That's all you need to do. Check as primary, check as ext4, press OK. Now that's created a partition that fills all the space, hence the blue bar goes all the way across. You now need to click on Save All. It 
to make sure it saves all the changes to the partition. Now you should see a big blue bar at the top which fills your SD card with an EXT4 partition. So we now need to restore our files back. Make sure you click on the right partition. Right click on the partition. Select restore partition from image file from the menu that pops up. Then select the image file. So where did you save the files? As you can see, we call ours was on the desktop.pmf. Press start, press OK. And that will restore those files back to that partition. I've sped it up again, just to help for watching the video. As you can see, it's copying those files back. So there you go. Right, at this point, you want to reject the card safely. So press complete. Right click on the card itself, not the partition. Select safely eject disk. Click on that. Now you can pop out your card, pop it in your RG on the left hand SD slot and power it on and see if it boots. And it should do. It should have now have 32 gig rather than 16.